Gene here with a review on the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Tommy White Ranger Legacy figure. Yes, friends. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the box. Uh, pretty much just like the Green Rangers, uh, it says Saban's Mighty Morphin Power Rangers right here. Got the nice cool lightning effect coming down here. Got a nice window of the figure right here itself. Right here it says Tommy White Ranger. And of course, right here we've got the five uh, Power Rangers right here. And right here it says only at Toys R Us exclusive. And so on the top, uh, pretty much says Saban's Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Nothing on the bottom. And on the back, pretty much, once again, shows you, uh, tells you the story on how what happened in Power Rangers. The whole legacy line and a nice bio of Tommy, uh, the White Ranger, which he was the Green Ranger, and so on. Alright, friends, so let's go ahead and check out the uh, White Ranger now. Uh, uh, pretty much, uh, it is the same... Uh, uh, a scale inch as the uh, Green Ranger um, and of course uh, the whole molding is a little bit different now uh, well it's the same mold but you know pretty much uh, painted in gold white black uh, some silver and so on but uh, anyway well friends I'm gonna be honest with you looking at the helmet scope the helmet scope kind of seems a little bit off like it looks like it's got a little bit of like a lot of black lining it, it kind of looks like it maybe I can't really tell or, or something but but I am a fan of the helmet sculpt of Kiba Ranger slash White Ranger but something in the figure is completely off you know but uh, anyway and then here's the shield here the shield is pretty just like the Green Rangers this shield will not come off uh, you can see he's got the nice gold bands right here really really nice here and of course there's his glove Nicely done, painted in gold and black here. Um, look at the belt. The belt is really fantastic looking, you know. Uh, came out really good in that gold there. And then uh, look at his boots. Done in the black and the gold there. All around nice. And then here's the back of the figure. Pretty much just, you know, uh, really, really nice. Uh, really nice work, really, on this figure here. I got to give Bandai America uh, props on this. They really did a fantastic job on this figure. Um, but yeah, call me picky, friends, but something just seems off with the helmet sculpt here. The figure's nice, don't get me wrong, but something just seems off. You know, maybe maybe the head is a little bit too small than the body, I don't know. But uh, anyway, well, our articulation, friends, pretty much the same articulation as what we've seen with the Green Ranger. You know, uh, 360 all around and head rotation here can do a a swivel here uh, can't do uh, much do it can't hinder due to the shield here pretty much uh, can uh, bend knee elbows here uh, can do a full arm rotation here and of course uh, can do a swivel in the legs and uh, knee movement and uh, this is where what I didn't mention in uh, the uh, Green Ranger review but you can do a full foot rotation and then uh, there's the peg holes so, anyway, so yeah, not trying to be picky, friends, but just something seems off. You guys are welcome to comment, but I don't know. I can't really put my finger on what is kind of what is off about this figure. Saba, so yes, uh, he's uh, pretty much Saba is very very detailed. I mean, he's got some gold painted here. He's kind of bent here, but anyway, um, he is missing some uh, paint on the head here, and pretty much for his eyes also. But all around he is nice. They, they got a little bit of silver here for the blade part here. So all around nice. And right here you got the little peg to uh, connect to uh, the belt of the White Ranger. So let's go ahead and uh, peg it into there and uh, see what it looks like. So let's do it like that. And it just plugs right on in. And uh, look, he looks really, really nice with it, you know. And of course you can have him hold old good old Saba in many, many positions, you know, kind of like what you do whenever he summoned the Tiger Zord and, you know, so let's just go ahead and do this one like he is summoning the, uh, he's talking to uh, Saba like this, or he's just holding it like a usual saber, you know. So pretty much cool. It kind of looks kind of funny due to that peg sticking out. But, uh, really, really nice. And, you know, we'll just have him face like this way in this pose here. The 8-inch scale came with the White Tiger Zord uh, way back in 1994. And so, real quickly, I'll talk about that. 
clearly here's the issue with this one. The Saba in the holster is on the wrong side of the belt. It should be on this side. And uh, pretty much you can see that the, uh, the morpher here, it's not the Die Ranger buckle uh, that you know, you're seeing on the 5-inch uh, over here. Um, but Saba is on the correct side, you know. And uh, I'll turn these guys to the back just to show you guys a little bit of difference there. Not much, you know. But uh, anyway, but yeah, that that's the only thing. Um, and I forgot to mention this in my uh, my uh, original five Green Ranger, White Ranger, eight inch figure reviews about you know this being on the wrong side. As a matter of fact. Some people comment that I, meant, I forgot to mention about that, and so I apologize for that if you're still watching. But uh, anyway. Well, friends, my thoughts on this uh, figure, I have to say, I do uh, like it. Uh, like I said, something kind of seems off with the helmet, even though I totally dig Kiba Ranger and uh, White Ranger's uh, helmet designs. Uh, but just, like I said, something is just really, really off. But I do, I, I do appreciate the fact that Bandai went ahead and did give Saba some paint, even though he's missing some paint on his head. Um, all in all, the gold is really, really nice, and I do like the gold bands on his arm. The shield looks fantastic. Got the Tiger Ranger uh, symbol on his uh, emblem on his chest. Fantastic, fantastic. Um, really, really cool. And I totally dig this whole Legacy figure line. It, it, it's really, really cool. Um, I really shouldn't say I do recommend uh, getting these figures because of the price they are. But you also got to think about this, friends. These are the Toys R Us exclusive figures. And so when you hear that word legacy, go figure. Um, and uh, like I said, I, I, I totally dig it. But also one thing I forgot to mention is, and the one thing I wish these figures had was a little more articulation. But uh, uh, like I said... Not a bad figure, uh, like I said, just, you know, there's some things are, are, are off with the uh, helmet sculpt on the figure, but so far so good. I highly do recommend it. Uh, I wish you guys good luck on it, and so uh, anyway, with friends, that is it for this review. Remember to uh, check out my blog, follow me on Twitter, and to like my Facebook. And friends, this is the review on the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Tommy White Ranger Legacy figure. I hope you enjoy. Well, I'm Eugene, I'm signing out, and I hope you have a good day, and my friends, I will definitely see you next time. Bye, my friends.